Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about galactokinase deficiency, and it's going to be represented by this teacher on this side over here. This is the galaxy teacher, who's very kind. Galaxy kind for galactokinase. She's a very kind teacher, as opposed to the teacher on this side of the room, who's not kind, and she's going to represent classic galactosemia. So let's talk about galactokinase deficiency. Well, if you look at the board, what these teachers are teaching, they're teaching the equation of galactose metabolism. Let's take a look at that. Normally, galactose is converted to galactose 1-phosphate, which is then converted to glucose 1-phosphate, which can be brought to glycolysis or gluconeogenesis. In galactokinase deficiency, there's of course a deficiency in galactokinase, and that's why here it's exploding. Thus, galactose cannot be converted to galactose 1-phosphate, and it's instead converted to galactitol. In galactokinase deficiency, therefore, there's an accumulation of galactitol if galactose is present in the diet. This, however, is a relatively mild condition, represented by this teacher over here, as we said, who's very kind. She's kind because galactokinase deficiency is kinder. It's a benign condition. Let's talk about symptoms of this condition. We know that there's this galaxy chip over here with toes. Galaxy toes for galactose, and it's coming out of her blood vessel over here. To help us remember that in this disease, galactose appears in the blood, known as galactosemia. It also appears in the urine, which is known as galactosuria. If you take a look at her baby over here, it's got this cataract car going into its eyes. That was remember the infantile cataracts associated with galactokinase deficiency. We note that this teacher over here is having a difficult time smiling. It's because in galactokinase deficiency, there may be a difficulty in developing a social smile. She also doesn't realize that there's this thing sticking out of her legger over here. Because in galactokinase deficiency, there may be a failure to track objects. Okay, this is going to be our scene on classic galactosemia, represented by the teacher on this side of the room, whose name is Galaxy Sima. Galaxy Sima for galactosemia. Before we discuss classic galactosemia, let's review quickly galactose metabolism. That's what these teachers here in space are teaching. Normally, galactose is converted to galactose 1-phosphate, which is then converted to glucose 1-phosphate through uridyl transferase. Glucose 1-phosphate can then be brought to glycolysis or glycogenesis. In classic galactosemia, there's an absence of galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase, and that's why here it's exploding. Toxic substances, including galactitol, as we see over here, can accumulate in the lens of the eye. And that's why if you see this teacher over here with a big lens around her eye, with this stuff forming around it. That was remember the accumulation of the toxins in the lens of the eye. Symptoms develop when the infant begins feeding, because that's when lactose pre is present in breast milk and roots in formula. Lactose, of course, has galactose. This includes failure to thrive, that's why unfortunately in this scene the baby is exploding. We also notice that the baby is yellow. To help us remember the jaundice, associated with other liver problems, including hepatomegaly. This child also, of course, has the Cadillac going through his eye. To help us remember the infantile cataracts. She has a grave on top of her head. To help, just to help us remember that classic galactosemia is, of course, the worst, much worse of the two conditions between galactokinase deficiency and class, classic galactosemia. But you probably got that from the, just the teacher's face herself. If you take a look behind her over here, there's this cola can that says E. coli on it, the E. coli can on top of the scepter. The E. coli can on top of the scepter is to help us remember the E. coli sepsis. Classic galactosemia can predispose to E. coli sepsis in neonates. As we mentioned in the last video, both galactokinase deficiency and classic galactosemia are autosomally recessive. And that's why both of these teachers are standing on Reese's chocolate here in the middle of outer space. Treatment of classic galactosemia includes excluding galactose and lactose from the diet. Okay, thank you so much for watching the scene. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.